All right. Well, welcome to our final rhythm concept, the full meal deal. You're going to get uh, be very full after we do this lesson. Um, you know, the idea is to maybe try to start off simple, kind of work our way up. Um, you know, to me, this is a this is like a really fun, a little bit more complex. You know, there's just more going on. There's some some slurring with the right hand. There's some uh, some raking. Uh, so this rhythm concept, I'm going to play it for you first so you can hear the rhythm concept because that's what we're focusing on. Right? So it's got a bump, bump. Bum, ba -do, bum, 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 bum. Nice swing and blues feel to it. It's a little more upbeat than some of the other ones we worked on. And it's incorporating several things rhythmically besides, you know, what the, the chording and what the left hand's going to play. So you've got... That's the first part right there. Bump, bump, bump. Okay. That's that's the like the meat of what we're playing. It's simple. Okay, and then so that little rake and stuff ties together that rhythm so nice. So the the basic rhythmic part we're working with is bump 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 boop ba da do bump 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 boop ba da do. There's like a little chord melody bass line there that's kind of coming around. And that's why I call it the full meal deal. You're getting a whole bunch in your rhythm part here. Um, so let's look at the first chord placement here. We're in B and um, we've already used this little hammer on early on. We're playing this little seven chord, but we're playing it a lot quicker this time. And the, the rhythm is staggered. It's it's not bump, bump, bump. It's bump, bump, bump. That's got a little push. It's a little bit before and bump, 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 boom, ba da do. So that makes it swing that little. All right, now let's look at that little rake kind of lick. First of all, here's the lick. I'm using my third finger. Okay. It's a little major pentatonic lick there. I'm on the ninth fret and I'm playing the sixth fret of the D and the ninth fret of the D. I'm not playing it here. I'm playing it in the chord formation. And it's boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now the rake. You know what I'm doing when I'm when I'm when I say rake is I'm taking the pick and I'm and I'm strumming muted strings like I'm going like I'm raking a yard. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm muting the strings. It's a, it's a percussion instrument here. That's the movement. Okay. And it's, it's this thing you've seen Steve Ray Vaughan. You've seen, you know, these guitar players that do. It's this. That movement is part of the rhythm. It's what makes it percussion. I'm playing rhythm, playing a rhythm instrument. So uh, my fingers are just muting the strings, taking the pick, and I'm, I'm just doing that. That's all that is. The idea is <laughs> you got to do it in time. You got to do it in time and, and end on this lick.
that's it. It doesn't have to be perfect every time. It's just got to feel good. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm playing rhythm. So when I'm doing these things, sometimes I even, you'll hear me. You know, when I'm really playing, I'm on the bandstand, my, my hand, my right hand is working as a percussion instrument. So sometimes there's a lot of extra. Because I'm, I'm playing rhythm. I'm playing rhythm with the band. And uh, that's what we're working on here. Whole idea is that it just feels good with the, with the track. That's what we're going to work on today. So when I go to the four then, same concept. It goes right back into the one. So the four is just the, the three chords here. I mean the three notes here on uh, B. Back to the one. Now there's the five, okay? And here's this movement. Okay, I'm just using the same three note chord. I'm on the ninth fret. And it's gotta be loose. It's gotta slur, it's gotta. That's a little chord flourish there around the five. So, and then it goes back to the. So the whole thing is. That's such a cool rhythm, you know, if you have that down, like I could just play that on the guitar and stomp my foot and we could get a dance floor going, okay? You could, you would, you could do it just solo, just on the guitar. You could get that, if you had that cooking, you could have that dance floor packed. That's how strong a rhythm that is here. And I saved this one for last because it's, it's, it really is, it encompasses everything. You know, you've got some harmony, some melody, some chord melody, um, you know, you're using your right hand for percussion. It's, a, it's an, an awesome uh, rhythm for sure. And I've got some great flourishes and like uh, variations we all add on. So let's play the backing track. I'll try to make this feel as good as I can for you and just stay right in the pocket with what I just showed you. And I'll play through it a couple times. Then we'll come back to the track. I'll play through it. You'll play through it. I'll play through it. You'll play through it. <laughs> and then I'll bring some variations in and we'll take this thing out to the stratosphere. 